Hello everyone, welcome to Music Theory Grade 3 and we are in Week 7, brought to you by To Enable. Today we are going to be discussing transcription and transposition. Transcription. What is transcription? Transcription in music means taking a piece of notated music and adapting it to a different clef, yet maintaining the same pitches. So we take a piece of music and we adapt it to a different clef because sometimes you might find that we are used to reading maybe from the treble clef and now maybe the music is in bass clef so we must adapt it to the treble clef so that we can make our reading easier for example we have this piece of music over here now this piece of music it has been adapted to the bass clef here at the bottom. Now, we have realized that the pitches are still the same. That G over there is still in the same pitch as that G. The difference is that the clefs are changed. Same with the F or rather E, there's our E over there, they are still the same, same even in this bar, we have our A, and so on and so forth. Notice the use of ledger lines, the pitches are still the same by the clef, has changed. Remember guys that with both transposition and transcription all dynamics, phrasing, articulation, rhythm, time and key signatures must be rewritten exactly the same way. And also remember the direction of your stems. Remember that when we are writing music above the third line, in any stuff above the third line, then the stems face down. And if it's below the third line, then the stems face upward. Transposition. What is transposition? Transposition in music means rewriting a piece of notated music an octave higher or lower. And also, it can be in the same clef or a different clef. So, the music is rewritten either an octave higher or an octave lower and it can be the same clef or a different clef. Below is the same melody from the previous page. The difference is phrase marks, dynamics and articulation have been added. So if we look at our, our piece of music over here, this one, we realize that it's still the same melody from the previous page, but this time we've added phrase marks, articulation, dynamics as well. Now, here is the same melody transposed an octave above in the same clef. So we took our melody above and we have transposed it an octave higher in the same clef. So you see that G, an octave higher, will look like that. 
okay and also remember our phrase marks and our dynamics they remain the same we've got two slurs above two bars each okay and then we have our accents on the same notes we have our dynamics there's a crescendo over there so everything remains the same except the pitch is an octave higher now in this figure over here here the melody is transposed an octave lower and it's in the bass clef. So it's still the first note, it's still G, but it's an octave lower from the original melody and it's in the bass clef. Let's look at bar number two. There's our A over there. And below here, it's an octave lower. And it's in the bass clef. Again, the tempo, or rather the, the, the max, tempo, dynamics, are all still present. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.